gracious me! What is going on guys, TVM here, welcome back to the Road to Glory, despite EA dropping uh, some crazy stuff yesterday that, to be honest, when you look at it closely, it's not that crazy, but still, at the time it was mental, and you guys still showed your support on the Road to Glory by watching it, by liking it, so I appreciate that massively. If we can go for a pretty big target today, 30 likes, that is crazy, if we can smash that, I'd be very, very grateful. So, with that being said... I wonder how many people think I'm being serious when I say that. But anyway, um, with that being said, so yesterday I played some Division Rival games for the first time on this account in a, in a while. I, I think I played one in uh, in the last maybe four days, which is not great. So yesterday I, I smashed four of them. Spoiler alert, I lost one, one, three. So we did quite well there. I seem to be playing quite well in, in FIFA at the moment. So I'm I am really looking forward to Weekend League, providing we can qualify, because... I want to see how good I actually am. Division rivals to me, maybe I'm in the wrong division. I feel like I probably am, to be honest. But uh, I feel like maybe I am in the wrong division. And I'm playing against people who are maybe a tier below my, my sort of skill level. And we are progressing towards that. But in Weekend League, you will hit that skill level in the first five games. You'll find where your skill level is. And you'll be playing against people who are your own quality. So I'll be interested to see how I do in Weekend League. I'm not holding my breath for a good finish. To be honest, I'm just gunning for like six wins. Six wins is a thousand uh, champions points, and I can't remember what the rewards are for that. We will definitely look at it sort of Friday's episode before we actually start our games. So, uh, the, the goal for not necessarily this episode, but the goal for the next two days, and in fact, for you watching this now, the goal for just today and into tomorrow is going to be finishing rank two trying to and get in as many championship points as we possibly can ready for foot champions now i'm not worried too much about the champions points rank two though um i've left it late in the day for this so i am hoping i'll have enough time but we'll have to wait and see the one game that we lost by the way the, the guy's team was probably about one or two tiers below my team in quality but he was a good player and he just he didn't slap me i i couldn't get the ball in the back of the net no matter how hard I tried and then toward the latter stages of the game he sort of counted me a few times and scored twice it was a 1-0 game all day long and he only scored the extra two goals because I was pushing so hard unfortunately but there we are so we need 11,000 at the moment we're probably going to need around 12 maybe 13 somewhere between 12 and 13,000 in order to achieve rank 2 if you're wondering why it's so low compared to yours or too high compared to yours it's because I'm on PC and it's all sort of skewy. I honestly don't know what to expect if we do get a pass sort of Division 3. Because I can't imagine, because the pool of players on PC isn't that big, I can't actually imagine that there are that many people in Division 3, 2 and 1. Especially 1 and 2. Uh, so I reckon we'll probably be playing against the same guy over and over again if we get to Division 1 or 2. Uh, that'll be interesting to see if we ever do get there. Uh, playing quite well with this team, though. Used the same team the entire way through. The one that we upgraded, Handanovic and Taliska. Could potentially do another upgrade today, although we do have a lot to get through. And I wanted to smash gameplay today, but EA keep releasing things that I want to complete. So, uh, we might have a live game in this episode, we might not. Tomorrow will be rewards, of course, because it's... Uh, division rival reward day but there has to be gameplay otherwise there is no way I'm going to to qualify for foot champions and there's no way we'll get rank two unless I smash gameplay today I've got all day to do it thankfully uh, so we'll have to wait and see what happens there but you can see that we have just hit 5750 we are quite a ways from it but fingers crossed and speaking of being quite a ways from it we are what 202 points from division four and we're not going to do it this week but there's a potential that midway through the next cycle of Division Rivals, we will hit it. So fingers crossed for that because I actually really want to get into Division 4. A, because it'll be more of, not more of a challenge necessarily because I actually quite like winning games. Honestly, if I could play against people of Division 10 quality week in, week out and get the rewards of Division 5, 4, 3 or whatever, I would. It's not a case of oh, how would it be fun. I love beating people and last year I didn't get to do that very often at all because I wasn't that good at the game. This year I feel competent. Uh, so fingers crossed we can actually get to Division 4 and we can get some better rewards on the go and then progress towards Division 3. But that being said though, uh, it's changed slightly. The the, the current score is now 12 250 because we've gone live. That was last night, this is today. It's gone up about 500 points in about 12 hours, which is fine. There's 18 hours left. So if we can take that math, 13,000 points should be enough for rank 2. Is there enough time in the day to be able to achieve that? 
That's the question. I'm going to need to win a lot of games. We have one day, 18 hours. So I've got an extra 24 hours on top of the uh, games I'd need to play to achieve rank 2. If we were to miss out, by the way, and only hit rank 3, it's not the end of the world. Because if we pick the tradable option, we get 215Ks, 135K. If we pick the coins, it's 32,000, which I don't know if I'd do that. And then we get 235Ks, 415Ks, uh, untradable. And that option 2, I'm obviously, I would like to... Um, I would like to get your opinion on it, but option two is the one I'm leaning towards purely because there are one to watches in packs. Now, if you're wondering why this screen looks a little bit different to the one you're used to, it's because on PC they've had an update. They've swapped the um, foot champions points from being an option and they've moved it underneath the foot champion symbol. And then they've added an extra option on that right hand side. So you can see, for instance, here. This was uh, option 3 in rank 1 wasn't showing 2 mega packs. It was showing 195 foot champions points, 4 15k packs and 2 50k packs. And it wasn't showing the 35k's. They've changed it now so you can actually see everything that you get. Which is, uh, which is cool. When that'll come to console I don't know. You might have to wait till FIFA 20. Who knows. Uh, but either way, we've got 120k. There is a reason for that. We were on 130. But I had to go and buy something substantial. Which I'm not happy about. But it had to be done in order to uh, complete... Ooh, hello. Uh, we got a two players pack for completing a week weekly objective. I'm not going to do that just yet because I've got a lot to do. Uh, so, transfers. Let's do that. I sold Allison 30500 We sold Taliska for 4-3. So, not the prices I originally put them up for. But... Uh, they did sell for in and around what I wanted them to sell for. We've got a lot of championship players, uh, Argentine League One players as well, uh, that have sold for some decent money. Uh, some, they, they're starting to dip in price now, to be fair, so that's probably why we're not getting as much as what we could potentially be getting for them. Uh, but I'm all right with it. It's not the end of the world. We've got a few things left to sell as well, I'm, and I'm, I'm going to start doing bronze pack method where I don't keep everything like before if it didn't sell for 300 coins or more I would just keep it I don't think I'm going to be doing that now I'm just going to be getting rid of everything so as I said yesterday EA dropped UEFA market matchups <coughs> excuse me and they um, dropped the uh, Champions League upgrade as well now when you look at it, you go, yes, and you do it straight away, without even thinking, I want those Champions League cards. But then I, on my main account, I did a couple of these upgrades, and I was thinking, why am I doing these? What Honestly, what benefit am I going to get from getting any of these players? They're not really an upgrade on the normal cards. They go up by one, but not on every stat. Only a couple of stats, they actually get increased by one. They're not live items, like live dynamics, so they're not one-to-watch style items at all. What is the point in acquiring these cards, I thought? And I couldn't come up with an answer, so I stopped doing it. But on this account, I have completed UEFA marquee matchups because, okay, you get three players, but you also get a prime gold players pack and a jumbo premium gold pack. And ironically, the worst pack is the most expensive one to complete. Uh, I did this without having to buy a single player, which I was very, very happy with. Uh, I haven't actually checked to see whether Ajax or Bundes, uh, sorry, buy-in players actually sell for anything. I'm going to do that right now before we progress further. I'm um, just going to see if I've got a buy-in player at all, just to check his price. I don't. Do I have an Ajax player? Because I've only checked this with Liverpool. And we've got Neres, who I actually used, uh, or I use, rather. Uh, he sells for... Um, yeah, he sells for about 3k, which isn't that much more than what we paid for him, so I'm not that bothered. So let's submit that and get our 45k pack, which doesn't normally give us good rewards. Why we were taken straight to the... I don't know why it's doing that. Maybe that's another one of those um, upgrade things. Uh, sorry, um, in the update. That's what I meant to say. Right, so in this one, we needed two Napoli, two Liverpool. As you can see, my goalkeeper is Napoli. My central midfield player, or CDM, is Napoli. Uh, my right back, who I actually bought for... Well, nothing, because we got him in a pack and we had him in the club. Uh, and then Shakiri, who I had to go and buy. And I begrudge doing this because it cost me 8800 I was there for at least 30, 40 minutes trying to snipe a Liverpool player for anything less than 7 k Couldn't do it. I swear there are bots at play on PC. So let's submit that. It was still worth doing, right? 8800 coins, essentially, is what that cost us. Because um, the rest of it, you didn't have to buy anyone. It was just all there, right? So it cost us eight. 
eight eight to do the one squad, and it didn't cost me anything because I didn't need to buy anyone for the other one. We've packed them all, so I don't count that as you know coins. We we've been through this. So, in order for me to get a forty five k pack and three Champions League players and a fifteen k pack, cost us eight thousand eight hundred. Not too bad, but it could have been better. Now this Champions League upgrade, I decided to fill one out, although it looks like I've used a centre back in one of those SBCs I just did. I tried to avoid that as best as I could, but uh, apparently not. So one, two, three, four, five, six. It needs to be a non-rare centre back. It doesn't need to be a non-rare, but I'm going to put a non-rare into it basically. Uh, let's get gold up here, and let's use someone we don't care about him. There we go, full chem. Now, like I said, I don't care about these, but in the interest of making it a little bit more exciting on this account, and because they look good, that's the only reason why I'm going to complete one. If we do well, then I don't mind going and spending some money in order to get the players to do more. Let me get rid of this transfer list uh, stack. Uh, we don't need all those players there. We have five packs to open. I'm going to open the uh, two players pack that we got for the weekly objective first. Because there's only one rare in there. So let's get that done first. Get that out the way. Probably not going to get anything good here. And that's fine because it was a free pack anyway. And we get boards. Which is absolutely mental. Oh, never mind. It's Kagawa. Um, I, that is the most deflating flag to come out of a board you will ever see. It's just straight away. There's no other option. It has to be Shinji Kagawa. That's mental, though, that we managed to pull a board from that. I bet you that is our best player. Um, what else do we get in here, then? So we got a Prime, uh, two Champions League. Right, two Champions League we'll leave to the end because that's probably the most exciting because it's different. 15k pack, then the 45k, then the two-player Champions League pack, and then we'll do the three-player pack. So... Uh, let's open this. We weren't getting the animation on PC. They were doing, uh, they were glitching out, so you just had to wait for it to pop up on screen. It's fixed now, so we get to see the animation, which is cool. Uh, Argentine League player Quintero. I doubt he'll be worth anything because he's gold, but we'll have a look anyway. We get quite a few players in there. I don't think any of them are going to be worth anything. So let's have a look at Quintero, see if he's selling. If he sells for a thousand coins, I will definitely cash in. Looks like we could probably get. But no, let's just try a thousand and see what happens. Everything else is um, is irrelevant. Is that Chinese League? It is indeed. Right, everything else is irrelevant there. Let's just keep that. Get rid of those. And jobs are good. I don't know if I've mentioned it, by the way. I changed my badge, badge to the Newport County badge because we had it in a bronze pack that I was opening. I've actually changed my kit from the Origin Access kit to a black and red kit. It's not anything specific or anything that means anything to me. I only did it because I kept getting kit clashes. And I, I seem to have fixed it now. So, 45k pack. Here we go. Let's get a board, please, EA. No board walkout. Can we get a board at least? We can, which is decent. Uh, Dutch right mid. It's going to be Iron Robin. That, I mean, my reaction was awful. But um, I've packed this guy with nine times on my main account. And he's not worth a great deal. But to be fair... To get Iron Robin in a 45k pack that essentially cost us 8,000 coins is not half bad. We got Shinji Kagawa again. Uh, I don't know how much he's worth these days, though. I haven't checked him. Oh, that's much better. Wow, okay, fair enough. I'm very happy then because I didn't expect it to be. He was about 19, 18, 19k, if that, last time I checked. I'm going to be selling Iron Robin. I don't think there's a reason to keep him. Uh, what can we get? About 28 for him. Very happy with that. I apologize for my reaction. Uh, but like I said, I've packed him so many times and I, he just hasn't been going for anything. I've got like four on my transfer list on my main account and I've got one in my club. And I've just, I, I just give up on them, you know. Right, he's going to go on the transfer list. Uh, I will have a look at him very quickly. Uh, okay, we could probably get about a thousand-ish from him. and Otherwise, it would just be a case of me quick selling him. So I'll take it definitely. And there we go. I don't think any of these are going to be worth anything. No, we'll just put him in the club and wait to see what happens there. Right, we get a two-player pack here, two Champions League players, and then the three. None of them are like guaranteed boards or guaranteed any rating or anything like that, so let's hope for the best. I want something I can use. The three players are going to be tradable. This is untradable. We get boards, which is nice. Ukraine center back. I'm not bothered by that. Like, I don't mind that. That's not bad because he's actually a good player. But I, I will never use him because what possible team could you put this guy into? I mean, maybe you could put his melee left back and then maybe put a CDM in there. We get Wagner in there as well, which once again is, is useless. That is a terrible pack that is just going to be 
faded into the memory and I'll never ever have to think about it ever again. These are tradable. They should all be worth between seven and 10,000 coins minimum because all they're all selling for, for a premium because there aren't too many on the market. So if we get something decent, make no mistake, I'm going to sell it. Right, let's go. Come on, EA, give me a board walk out here. No. Well, I'm very disappointed to say the least. We have boards though, which is fine. Spanish central midfield player, Barcelona. Is that Denis Suarez? It is indeed Denis Suarez. That's awful. Um, yeah, that's that's bad. That that is bad. All that build up for Denis Suarez. Wow. Oh, God, a lot. Krasowiak, terrible, and Thomas, who I've never heard of, from PSV, who is. Too bad for how you're not silver. I'll never know. So, how much is he worth? He's got a max price of 15k. He's worth. Oh wow, they've dropped in price a little bit. He's just gone up for six and a half k there. You could probably get about seven thousand coins for Denis Suarez. And in all honesty, I'm I'm seriously considering selling him because what is the point in keeping him? Krasowiak is two k. Okay, and I'm. I'm guessing this guy is uh, literally a hundred coins. No, he's not. He's a uh, one thousand four hundred, which is, which is fine. I'm I'm gonna sell him. Uh, th there is literally no point me keeping him at all. Uh, I'm gonna list him for one five and see if he goes. I know there was one up there for one four, but hopefully that'll sell and then my one will be left. What did I <clears throat> What did I say? Krishawiak was uh, about two one eight. Okay, let's see if we can get. We'll, we'll list him up for 1.8 as well and see if he eventually sells. I'm going to sell Dennis Suarez, actually, because I, I think this 650, 6500, sorry, one will, will go. Oh, 5.9. Well, that 6500 one went, so 5.9 will definitely go. And then, in fact, can we buy that? Yeah. So let's buy that and let's list them for... I'll list that one for 7.4. And I'll list that one for 7.1. And with any luck, they should both sell, and we'll make a little bit of money back. And, uh, oh, didn't mean to do that. And then, obviously, if I, when Iron Robin sells, not if, when he sells, we'll make money from him as well. We got a 1,000 coins from Quintero, which is decent. So, 28k to come back from Iron Robin, there or thereabouts. Um, I'm not too bothered about these, because they're not hardly any money at all. And then, we should get about 14k after tax back for both of those. So, we're actually looking alright for money. Uh, and then some, to be honest. We're doing really well for coins. It's just a case of... What am I doing with my life? Seriously, like, send to the club. That's what I want to do. We're doing alright for coins. It's just a case of trying to qualify for foot champs to get more coins and finishing in rank 2. My Champions League player haul is not great as here. Pizzy, who we are actually using uh, in a team. Not this team, but the other team. Uh, and then the rest of them. Like, Danny Rose was okay... And then the others are just trash that we're never going to use. Now, with that being said, uh, speaking of using, we've completely done away with Neymar. I've used him as a substitute a few times. So that's done. Uh, I'm just going to use Ronaldo as a sub. I'm going to bring him on for Texera during the game uh, when he's fatigued. And then we'll just use the seven games with Ronaldo like that. Because I'm never going to build a team around a loan card. There's no point. I don't have... A full Italian team that this would work with. Although saying that, he would actually work in my other team. Uh, yeah, maybe I will. Maybe I will use. I'm going to use my other team for the for this live game that we're about to go into. I didn't even think of it. Um, let's go to the B team because I put a concept, a couple of concept players in there. If I get Ronaldo uh, on, not special. If I get Ronaldo in here, and I put him on instead of. Um, Immobile. Put Immobile on the bench instead of Morega. Get rid of Morega because it doesn't look athletically pleasing. Um, what left mids do we have? Uh, where's Elshar? Is he a left wing? He is a left wing. Let's get Elshar back in there and let's, uh, let's go and put our right back back in there as well. Just for the time being. I'm alright to play a game with this team. Because I've had Ronaldo up front. I think that's what I'm going to do for the next for this live game. Because I haven't used Ronaldo yet this year, so this is going to be interesting. My opponent has oh okay, uh, he has Champions League Wanyama. For some reason, that's the first player that I mentioned. Even though De Bruyne, Lukaku, and Mertens are there, this is by far the best team I've played. Uh, I would say on this account for sure. But we have Ronaldo. 
Okay, he's got an overlap here with Kevin De Bruyne, and he score. He doesn't need doesn't need the overlap. Just scores. Just shoots with Kevin De Bruyne. This team's this guy's team is far better than mine, and and every pass I'm making is being intercepted because his players' reactions are so high. I'm probably going to struggle with this one. Twice I tried to click onto Danilo Pereira. Victor Wanyama brings it forward, gives it to Kevin De Bruyne, and a great save. Kevin De Bruyne is broken. Anything on the edge of the area Kevin De Bruyne has nearly breaks my goalkeeper's hands. Poked it clear, only as far as nine Golan, who can hit them, defended well again. I say defended well, blocked, luckily. Corner comes in, another free header, and this time I might get a goal kick. Half time, Ronaldo's going to move to the left wing. Immobile is going to be my striker. Malcolm is coming on as the right mid. Ronaldo. He's off. He's beaten his man. Ronaldo. Oh, good save. I tell you what, you can't keep him down. He's not been that effective, but I think it's down to me more than him. I mean, we are putting pressure like nobody's business here. Uh, my mistake. Ronaldo with an effort, and it's a goal, and that's all it takes. A moment of magic from Ronaldo, and we are back in the game. Good block from Danilo Pereira. Tell you what, without Danilo Pereira and my team, I would not be where I am today. And that, my friends, is full time. Danilo Pereira, the star man. Ronaldo, a bit of brilliance. But to be fair, if you'd seen the amount of chances I had with Ronaldo and the amount I was feeding him the ball, you'd question why he didn't do better. To be honest, in that game, the first time, the first shot he had where he scored with Kevin De Bruyne, I honestly thought that was curtains, that he was just going to steamroller me. Only a couple of points onto the foot champions calculator. Uh, we're going to get 390 to chuck on the total. We're now above 6,000 on our way. That's halfway. We're, we're literally dead in the middle. Um, halfway, which it doesn't look like it's halfway because the bar is, like, really far down. Uh, look at that. Like that. We're halfway, technically, but we're not for some reason. I don't, I don't understand how that works. But either way, I need a lot. I need to play a lot today. A lot. We've sold one Denis Suarez, that's the one we bought uh, for 5,900, so we sold him for 7-1, so that's a little bit of profit. Uh, we've just sold this guy for 1,200, we sold Davis for 200. I went and listed um, all of these for like really cheap and hope that they sell. And then I think what I'm going to do is do another 5,000 coins worth of bronze pack method, probably off camera. Because uh, it's boring to watch, let's be honest. And then I will, uh, I'll just try and sell everything for whatever I can. Pace on that. Um, yeah, I'll just try and sell everything for whatever I can, whether it be two hundred coins, whether it be three hundred coins, or whatever. And I'll show you the, um, I'll show you the result of it, so you can see that I'm actually using bronze pack method. Another weekly objective done. Play ten foot matches. That's a thousand coins. I'll take it. Puts us up to one two five. Uh, I did ask you in the comments about this team. And for the time being, I'm not that bothered because we have Ronaldo in it. I'm not that concerned. Uh, we don't have um, Verdi on full chem actually because Immobile isn't in it. But I'm not that concerned right now about this team because that is a bit of fun. Using Ronaldo is a bit of fun. My, my main team and the one that I really want to focus on is this one. Because this is the one that I, I don't. I think I've maybe I've lost one game, maybe two at a push with it. I'm, I'm playing really well with it and I really enjoy it. The the next step might be to get a CDM in here. We could get Palinio, and then we could look at improving the Texera position. Because to be fair, he's not doing that badly. 13 goals in 16 games with 4 assists. For me personally, that's not that bad. Uh, if we go and look at Lucas, only 2 in 4. And Talisca's got... That's, a, that's an amazing return in the first four games with Talisca. 4 assists, 3 goals in 4 games. 7 contributions in 4 games. Anderson, not doing as well as he used to. We could, uh, I, I don't really know who we could put there instead of him, though, to be fair. But I'd say in that, I'm enjoying the team, so maybe there's no need to upgrade until we see what we get reward-wise. Reward and that's going to do it for the end of today's episode. Tomorrow, hopefully, we'll have ranked two rewards. And we'll see where we go from there with regards to um building the team and improving the team what you need to tell me though because i'm not going to get another chance to speak to you before we open rewards 
Let's just assume we're going to get rank 2 because I am gunning for this. What do we pick? Do we go option 1? 235Ks, 250Ks, untradeable, 44,000 coins, or 150K, 135K, tradable? That's the question. I think with um, with so many things being in packs right now, one to watch is uh, there's going to be a new team of the week, and it actually looks like it's going to be a good team of the week. Hasn't been announced yet as far as I'm concerned because it's only 10 to 2, but... I've done Team of the Week predictions, and I know there's going to be a fair few decent players in it. So, uh, might be an option to do untradeable again, even though I said I wasn't going to do that. We already have two decent sides, one in particular that is very good. Might be beneficial to do 235s, 150, or 250, sorry, untradeable. I don't know. What do you reckon? Let me know in the comments down below. If you have enjoyed it, smack that like button to keep the hype going on the road to glory. Subscribe to the channel if you're new, and until the next time, goodbye.